Hey guys, it's Ali, and welcome to another episode of YYA, a analytical discussion series on the very popular young adult fiction genre. So today, as you can probably tell by the title, I want to talk about movies. And not just any movies, but book-to-movie adaptations, and more specifically, young adult book-to-movie adaptations. And what I want to discuss today is, has the genre inspired good films? Has it inspired good book-to-movie adaptations? Or has it just inspired way too close to the book, or completely away from the book, fan-serviced, forced, and just poor film? I'm gonna list three that I think are really strong YA book to movie adaptations, and that is the Hunger Games franchise, the Harry Potter franchise, which could possibly, I guess, be considered middle grade, but whatever, and The Fault in Our Stars. All right, so in general, I think the young adult fiction genre has made for some really good movies. And a lot of young adult fiction books are kind of, are written in such a way where you read it and you're just like, duh, that's just screaming, make me a movie. But I really do think that some young adult books have made some killer movies. Like, Catching Fire, that's a true marvel. That, that was an amazing, not only was it an amazing book to movie adaptation, it was an amazing film. So, going into The Hunger Games and Harry Potter and Fault in Our Stars as good young adult book to movie adaptations. One of the reasons why I think The Hunger Games makes such an amazing franchise and just great films in general is its content and the actors that they have cast and the way they've gone about filming it. And what I think is so great about it is that it's introducing some really interesting intellectual ideas about media, about the power of the individual, about revolution, about PTSD, about the effect of war on children to a wider audience and to a younger audience and to an audience that may not have seen the books. But I think the way they're going about showing these movies is in a very accessible format in which you don't have to have read the books to appreciate the films for what they are and be engaged. And with such a stellar cast, Jennifer Lawrence does an incredible job, so does Stanley Tucci, so does Philip Seymour Hoffman, rest in peace Philip Seymour Hoffman, Elizabeth Banks, Woody Harrelson, all of them do such a great job and bring such life to this book. Same with Harry Potter, now it's not delving into revolution and politics and whatnot, but I think it's such a charming, lovely, good versus evil story with some really strong performances, personally, in the film. And what's great about Harry Potter is I feel like it's a, it's for all ages type thing and it attracts this huge audience and it's been enchanting audiences who've read the book and haven't read the book. And the way they made, they made the folklore of the books very clear through the movies and I think they just make good films and good, beautiful cinematography. And then The Fault in Our Stars. I'm not a huge fan of The Fault in Our Stars, but I will say that I think the content and the story is a very relatable human story with a lot of ideas that, that work in a broader context outside of the book. And so I think it makes for a great film. And the young cast does such a great job. I was really impressed seeing the movie, how it worked. Now on to the flip side. Bad examples of young adult books made to movies. For me, I don't know if you like Divergent, but personally, I didn't like Divergent. One of the key things for me in a book to movie adaptation, and this goes beyond the young adult genre, this goes to any book to movie adaptation. For me, it's important not to copy the book perfectly, but to stay true to the heart of the story. For instance, there's a lot of things that got cut out of Hunger Games, but they stay true to the heart of it. And it's about a young girl and an individual finding power to overcome this government and the hardships she faces. And that's the heart of the story, the core. And that's still there despite surface things that they may change. And that's what I think the key is, is to stay true to the heart of the story, but to take artistic license and go in different directions for some things because a film is a film and I like to go into a film thinking and respecting the source material of the book because that's always going to be the most important thing to me but going in because I'm watching a film adaptation I'm not watching the book and for me Divergent while you know obviously it deviated from the book in some areas it just felt like it was convoluted and it was fan servicing a lot of the time and it was too much of the simulation stuff happening and I just don't think it worked well as a movie. 
Same with the City of Bones, the Mortal Instruments. That's such a complex, huge story and huge world. And City of Bones, the book, it spends most of the time world building because there's so many different facets. And I think it came across as throwing too many things in your face in the movie. Not to mention the movie was just kind of bad in general. And the thing with this industry now is that YA has made a lot of money for a lot of movie companies. And I think they're, they're all seeking out that next franchise, that next big thing. And so I think they're just kind of pulling books that seem to be popular. But the thing is certain books work as books because there's so much time to develop ideas and worlds and characters and some of them just don't work well as movies. But especially with Divergent, I can see how someone who hasn't read the book we would be very confused. However, on the bright side, the great thing about any book to movie adaptation and the great thing about these YA book to movie adaptations is the movies do drive a lot more people to the stores to pick up these books to read and then you have more people buying books and the bookstores are getting more money and more people are reading and as always I'm always pumped about stuff that gets more people reading. So anyways that's my general take on young adult book to movie adaptations. Please share your thoughts. I love hearing what you guys think so put it in the comments or you can tweet me at at eyes in fiction. I always love to see your tweets and I love to respond. So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on reading guys. Bye!